I remember him today, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray for First Lady Sheer this morning, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray for our local jurisdiction, God. We pray for Bishop Prelo today, God, and his wife, God, today, God. Oh, God, thank you for their covering, God, over the C.H. Mason difference, Lord. We pray for every church, God, in the C.H. Mason district, God. Oh, God, breathe upon every church today, God. Oh, God, you know what they stand in need of, God. Pour out your spirit upon them, God. Hey, God, in the name of Jesus, as you bring us together, God, to be on one accord, God, let us always lift up your name that you will be glorified, God, in the name of Jesus. We pray today, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you today, God, for what will be son done today, God. We thank you today, God. We thank you for everything that will be said today, God, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God, in the name of Jesus. Anoint the choir today, God. To sing for your glory, God. Every song that proceeded forth out of their mouth, God, in the name of Jesus, let it bring glory to your name, God. Let it bring glory to your name, God, in the name of Jesus. We lift you up in the name. We lift your name on high today, God. We lift your name on high. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Thank you, oh God. We bless you, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God. We glorify. We magnify your name. We exalt your name on high today, God. You said, let everything that have breath. Praise ye the Lord. God, we come in to praise you, God. We come in to lift your name up today. God, in the name of Jesus, be glorified. Be glorified in all we say and all we do, God. In the name of Jesus, we decrease, Lord. We decrease that you may increase, the Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh, Holy Spirit, thank you right now, God. Holy Spirit, hallelujah. God, I thank you now, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, breathe on the musicians today, God. God, we pray for them, every one of them, God, in the name of Jesus. Touch, God. Touch them this morning, God. Let your anointing be in their hands, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We thank you this morning, God. Oh, God, it's nothing but the power of God that we rely on this morning. We thank you for your power this morning, God. Your power is greater than anything, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, we say thank you this morning, God. We appreciate the fact, God, in the name of Jesus, that you go ahead of us, God. You're always ahead of us, God. Make it preparation, God. You're always ahead of us, God. In the name of Jesus, thank you, oh, God. Yes, Lord, thank you so much, God. Oh, God, thank you for your always making provision for us, God. Always making a way out of no way, God. Oh, God, thank you, God. You're always showing us the way, God. Thank you, Lord. God, you always, hallelujah, thank you. To your hands, your hands always covering us, God. Thank you for your covering today, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. God, as your people come in, God, let the spirit of praise be in their mouth today, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, as they come in, God, let them come in with praise on their mouth. Let them come in with clapping in their hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We will bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is in me. We will bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. God, we praise you. Hallelujah. 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 Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. God, thank you. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Your 
your spirit be upon us. In the name of Jesus, have your way, God. God, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We say yes to your will. Yes to your way, God. Have your way, God. We say yes, yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Not our will, Lord. Your will be done. Your will be done. God, in the name of Jesus. We want you to get the glory today, God. We want you to get the glory today, God. We want you to get the glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank we thank you now, God. We thank you now, God. We praise you. We bless your name. Hallelujah, God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. God, we tell you thank you. We bless your holy name. We ask all these things in Jesus' precious name. And God, we tell you thank you. God, we tell you thank you. God, we tell you thank you.
me and let us exalt his name together. Our God is worthy to be praised on today, saints. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, God, we give you our yes today, oh, God. Have thine own way in the midst, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. God, we welcome you in this place, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, this, we just want you to have thine own way, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, even on the grounds, oh, God. When they drive up on the grounds, oh, God. As they enter into your gates, oh, God. With thanksgiving in their hearts, oh, God. In the name name of Jesus. Oh God, you're told to look to the hill for which cometh our help, oh God. All our help, oh God, come from you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I give you praise on today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, if any came in here sick today, oh God, we ask that you touch and heal, oh God. In the name of Jesus, you are the Lord thy God that healeth thee, oh God. In the name of Jesus, you are our healer, oh God. Hey, yes, Lord. You are our keeper, oh God. Yes, Lord. You are our protector, oh God. Yes, Lord. You are our shield, oh God. Yes, Lord. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, thank you, oh God. For keeping us and protecting us, oh God. From danger seen and unseen, oh God. In the name of Jesus. God, I ask that you have your way in this place on today, oh God. Let your Holy Ghost, oh God, rest, rule, and abide in this place on today. Hey, yes, Lord. Your Holy Ghost, oh God. Have free course, oh God. In this place on today, oh God. In the name of Jesus. God, we're lifting our pastor up before you, oh God. Pastor Gary, oh God. Have thine own way in him, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Lady Kim, oh God. Have thine own way, oh God. Superintendent Lee, oh God. As he bring forth the word today, oh God. Hey, God, send your word. Woo! Oh, God, send your word. Send it with power. Send it with the fresh anointing, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh! Hey, God, touch him in his body right now, oh God. In the name of Jesus, give him a new strength, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lady Nee, oh God, look upon her right now, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, look on those, oh God, that are going through bereavement, oh God. Comfort them, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, do it for your name, say God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, bless the choir on today, oh God. Hey, God. Oh God, as they sing songs of Zion, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, let Judah have free course in this place on today, oh God. Hey, God. Hey, God, because your son Judah so many times in your world, oh God. Hey, God, the praises go up so the blessings can come down. Hallelujah. Hey, God, let no flesh glory in your presence, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, have thine own way, oh God. This is our prayer, oh God. We will give your name the praise. We will give you the glory. We will give you the honor. In Jesus' name, lift up your hands in the sanctuary. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary.
and whither I go ye know, and they would go. Thomas said unto him, Lord, they are not far with us, and how we know the way. Jesus said unto me, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have shown my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been also also on the you? And yet how small know me, Philip? And ye have heard me, my Father, and now saith the unto me, Show us the Father. The word of God is blessed.
Can we have 50 people in the room that really came here to praise him? Would you mind lifting your hands, opening your mouth, and giving our God some real praise? What a wonderful God we serve. No wonder angels bow before him, and heaven and earth adore him. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. He put clothes on our back. We've got shoes on our feet. We're in our right mind. We got a mind to live holy and a heart to live right. There's nobody like our God. Anybody came to praise him? All right, hold on. Listen, let me, let me go ahead and clarify for a second. Let me clarify for a second. Praise and worship time is your time to praise and worship God. Our singers are phenomenal. Sister Bree sang her heart out, the praise and worship team sang that heart of a heart out but I need you I need to make something clear you have not praised nor worshiped God because you listened to praise and worship music I need you to understand this I don't want any misconceptions praise and worship every time you see it in the Bible required a sacrifice that means if you're tired you should give them the sacrifice of your body. If you don't really feel like standing or lifting your hand, you sacrifice the way you feel to worship him. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, tell him praise and worship requires a sacrifice. Tell your other neighbor, let's make it a little more clear. Tell the other neighbor, tell him it's not about you. It's not about you. That's not my favorite song. It's not about you. Well, I don't know this music. That's not about you. Whenever it's praise and worship time, if all you do is stand, lift your hands, and say, hallelujah, 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 that's praise and worship for you. Are y'all with me? And I'm only saying this because you have to remember there's a benefit attached to praise and worship. The Bible says that he inhabits the praises of his people. So you can't pray Monday through Saturday, God, I need you to come into my life. God, I need you to come into my situation. And then he give you a clear antidote of how to do that. He said, if you praise me, I'll get in your praise. So I didn't come to talk to everybody. I just wanted to make sure that those of you who want God in your situation, want God in your life, you're inviting God into your week. I, I'm here to tell you that the way you get that done is you open your mouth, give him the fruit of your lips, the activities of your limbs, and you praise and worship God. Are y'all with me? So it's a sacrifice. I'm only teaching this because I want you. Are we a blessed people? Are we a blessed people? And it's so easy. Remember, it is so easy to get comfortable doing what you've always done. One of the reasons I love Sister Nicholson is because no matter what Sunday it is, I don't know how she's feeling in her body. On any given Sunday, I don't know whether or not she's hurting. I don't know whether or not she's tired. 
I don't know whether or not she's not feeling well because all I know is every single Sunday that she's in that pew, I'm going to hear her lifting up the name of Jesus. And can I tell you, that's the way you confuse the devil. When the enemy comes in and he's already messed your mind up and messed your body up, don't you let him remember and know that he won. Every single time you enter into his gates, you enter with thanksgiving. Every time you come into his courts, you come into his courts with praise. Why? Because we are thankful unto him and we will bless his name. Only if you can say it and tell the truth, would you tell everybody around you, tell them, God's been good to me. Well, I just need the redeemed of the Lord to open your mouth and give God some real praise. Come on. Come on. Let's see what you got. Let's see what he's worthy of. Let's see how you feel about him. Come on. Has he been good to you? How many ways has he made? How many doors has he opened? How many times has he blessed you? Open your mouth and give him praise. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. All right, here you go. It's your testimony time. We used to have testimony service. I want you to get out of your seat real quickly. Get out of your seat. Get out of your seat. You can grab your phone. Grab your phone. I want you to find somebody. I want you to take a quick selfie and tag Mason Temple with the caption, God's been good to us. Y'all ready? Get out, find somebody. I said, go ahead. I love it. Come on, that's it. Do I have any praises in the room? Come on, I need you to stand. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Come on. Say, I will bless the Lord. Come on. Say, oh, my soul, and all that is blessed, blessed, Come on, that's it. Y'all got it? Find somebody else. Some Let me see it. Holly! I like this. 
This side, y'all look good. Come on. Come on, Avery. Show them how to do it. Come on. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time. This section. Hallelujah. Come on. That's it. Hallelujah. Everybody look at this section. Come on. Let's see you move. Come on. Keep it going. This section. Let me see you move. Can I see you move? Y'all look good. That's what I'm talking about. Right here. Can I see you move? Oh, yeah. Everybody, come on. Let me see you move. Let me see you move. Let me see you move. Y'all want to know why? Guys, listen. Hey. Lord, you're worthy.
be set free. In the name of Jesus. just to have a program, but we need the power of the Lord. here right now. Come where the dew drops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day and by night. Yeah. Jesus, hallelujah, the light of There were some people that came in today and sent message that they have some sickness in their body and they wanted special prayer. I want you to come now. This presence of the Lord is here. Walk in the light. Beautiful light. Come where the dew drops of mercy shine bright. Come here, son. Let him come up. Shine on around us by day and by night. Livingston, 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 I'm sorry, Livingston had a really tough scare the other day, and he woke up and I believe he passed out, passed out, they didn't know what was going on, and he had to be rushed to MUSC, mom was really afraid, grandma was really afraid, we sent the message out for us to pray, and the church began to pray, and the Lord blessed him, MUSC, from my understanding, doesn't know exactly. Everything checked out regular, but mom and grandma said we need to ask God because when the doctors don't know, we serve the doctor of doctors, the king of kings, and the lord of lords. And today, I'm just asking all of the prayer warriors and those of you with the Holy Ghost, if you don't mind, let's get on one mind and one accord and let's Let's pray for my young brother. Hallelujah. 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 Langston, would you? Livingston, I'm sorry. Caleb Livingston. Am I saying that correctly? Caleb Livingston. Caleb, if you do me a favor, how old are you? You're six years old? Here's what I want. You know how when you were really small, you're too big now. But you know how you're really small and you wanted your mom or your dad to pick you up? You would lift your hands for them to pick you up, right? What I want you to do is right now, we're asking God to pick up you, to pick you up. I want God, whatever's going on in you, I want him to pick that up and take it out of you, okay? Are you in agreement with me? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take the same posture that you would take 
for your grandma, for your mom, or your dad to pick you up, would you mind lifting your hands? Lift your hands for me. Woo! Father, in the name of Jesus, touch Caleb now. His hands are lifted to you. I ask right now, God, that whatever's wrong, you make it right, Lord. You are our healer. You're our way maker. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray that you get into his blood system and his respiratory system. Get into every cell. In the name of Jesus, God, and let your power be made manifest from the high man of the Glory from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Oh God, do it for him. Do it for your power. Do it by your grace. Do it because of your mercy. And God, we promise, God, that just like his hands are lifted, Lord, we surrender to you. And we ask, God, that you would have your way. I pray not only would you heal him, but that you would make him a testimony. In the name of Jesus, for the rest of his life, I want him to remember this moment that it was God that picked him up when he was at his lowest point. Do it right now, God. In the name of Jesus, let your power overshadow him. In the name of Jesus, for this we give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, thank God and amen. Those of you that believe it's done, would you give your hand, clap your hands and give God our praise. Hallelujah. Come on, can we really praise him for that? Wonderful Savior. Wonderful Savior. Real quickly, I just need to get a few announcements and I'm going to get out of the way. Whew. Whew. I know we had Caleb do it, but Caleb showed us how. If you need to be picked up, I dare work where you are for you to lift your hands. Eee. Oh. 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 Come back to you, women's choir. I'm gonna come back to you. It's time for the word. Oh, for the word to come. The altar is open. You need to be coming quickly. He's here. Oh, oh, oh. Some of you are being tugged on right now. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. Come. We don't need a program, we need the presence of God. He's here, you come. Oh, glory. Oh, glory, come on. Yeah, yeah God, yeah, God, yeah, God, yes, Lord. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Oh, glory, yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, glorious, spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me, spirit of the living God, hallelujah, oh, Fall fresh. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Oh, he's listening to you. Open your mouth and talk to him. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh glory, 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 glory. Our superintendent is coming with the word. Before he comes, he's going to pray over you. Hallelujah. Come on, superintendent. Hallelujah. Open your mouth, begin to talk. He's listening. Cast all of your cares on him because he's the one who cares for you. All over the building, we're standing. It's time for the word. We're not going to follow a program today. The Lord is leading us this way. We're going to go that way. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bible says, and these signs shall follow them that believe. They shall cast out devils. If they drink any deadly thing, it won't harm them. They will be able to tread upon serpents and scorpions. Father, we come today knowing that our trust and confidence is in you. And God, we believe that you're the sovereign God. You're in control. Nothing is happening in my life that you didn't already see when you were planning before the foundation of the world. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, give me to exercise faith that says if God has allowed it, then I'm able to endure, to go through. Because you promised me you wouldn't allow anything to come upon us that we are not able to bear. So Lord, touch now. In the name of Jesus, bind everything that's not like you. Bind demons and devils that parade themselves in forms of sickness and disease. Cast it out right now. Say to the Lord, rebuke you. The blood of Jesus is against you. Power of his anointing is against you right now. And we thank you right now. Thank you because you're the Lord thy God that healeth thee. And we praise you for it right now. We magnify you. We glorify you. Thank you because you taught us in all things to give thanks. In the name of Jesus, I don't have to understand it. I trust you, God. My faith and my confidence, it's in you right now. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Let your will be done. In the name of Jesus, whatever you purpose and whatever you plan, in the name of Jesus, let it come forth now for your glory, Lord, for your honor, for your praise. God be glorified. God be glorified in the name of Jesus. And now we open our mouth. We open our mouth. And we offer sacrifices of praise and thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whatever the devil is attempted to do, God has canceled it. 
and I want to praise him for it right now. In the name of Jesus, whatever the enemy sought to root, afflict me with, God has rebuked it, and I want to praise him for it right now. In the name of Jesus, thank you right now. I praise him, I magnify him, I glorify him. In the name of Jesus, oh God, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We proclaim victory in Jesus. Thank you right now. We bless you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, for his glory and for his honor, amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. somebody say you can't sing tell them you can't sing but tell them you can at least make a noise some of y'all not saying anything I can't sing we know that but the Bible said make a what joyful noise come on one more time ah Because, because he first loved me, he first just my salvation. Let me hear the men. I just want the men. All over the church. Come on, men. Come on. I... Come on, men. Come on. Why do you love him? Because... What did he do for you? He passed just my salvation on heaven. All right, ladies, come on, let me hear you, ladies. 
Today and we honor Pastor Gary Lee and all of the elders, Elder Jones, Senior and Junior, Elder Ishmael, Elder Fryer, Amen. Minister Land. Did I miss anybody? All of the missionaries, God bless you. All of the church mothers. We honor you today. Praise the Lord. I may not see a lot of you all, but I want you to know that I do pray for you in my prayer time. Amen. And I thank God. I honor my wife today. Amen. 53 years. All right. I'm going to try. I can't see too well because these lights are so bright. But, um, uh, Reading the first nine verses of chapter 15. It says what? I am the true vine. vine. Uh huh. Jesus said, I am. Who are you? Jesus said, I am. Who are you? Jesus is preparing to leave his disciples. And he uses this final times with them to reinforce so much of his teachings. In the Old Testament, the nation of Israel is characterized as a grapevine. In fact, on the temple, they had a gold grapevine on the wall of the temple. So here Jesus wants to make it plain to his disciples. I am the true vine. 
Now, he's saying to them that in him, that is in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have all that you need. In this particular passage of scripture, he's characterizing the true vine and he's telling you that God is the husband man. If, so if you notice, all three members of the Godhead are present in this illustration. Jesus is the true vine. God is the husband man. And the Holy Spirit is the sap that flows from the tree into the branches. And the branches, amen, bear fruit. Now I want you to notice something. I did not say that the branches produce fruit. I said that the branches bear fruit. They only manifest, amen, the fruit that is being produced by the vine. Amen? Now listen. Jesus said, without me, you can do what? Nothing. Amen. You can't produce fruit. You can't produce fruit without the vine. And you can't produce fruit in your spiritual life without Jesus. Now, when we're talking about fruit, we have to go over into the book of Galatians. And in the book of Galatians chapter 5, it tells us about this fruit. Now, I want you to make a note of something. During this teaching, Judas has already left. So he's not in this group that Jesus is talking to now. Amen. He's saying to them, praise God, fruit bearing is not possible without abiding in the vine. Let me say that again. Fruit bearing is not possible without abiding in the vine. Fruit bearing occurs in different quantities. Notice what the Bible said. Amen. Jesus said that we would bear fruit, more fruit, and much fruit. Let me hear you say that. Fruit, more fruit, and much fruit. Galatians 5 lists the manifestations of fruit of the Spirit. The manifestations of fruit of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. Love, I'm going to say it again for emphasis, joy. As I, as I read them, just do a little self-analysis. Peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, self-control. All of these 
if you notice, are simply manifestations of love. All of these are just manifestations of love. And see, if you attach to the true vine, if you really attach to Jesus Christ, these are the character traits you're supposed to be manifesting. Amen. It ought not to be that we have people in the church that don't manifest any of this, but say that they are in the vine. Are y'all with me? Abiding, when you talk about abiding in the vine, abiding is to be submissive. It is to be obedient to the will of God as revealed in the word and by the leading of his Holy Spirit. If you would, look at John chapter 14, verse 23. Put that up there for them if you don't mind. John chapter 14 and verse 23. What does it say? He said unto them, what? If a man man what? Loves me. If a man loves me. Not like me. Loves me. We got to understand that this is not about religion. It's not about a denomination. I'm trying to get you to see it's about relationship. It's not whether you're Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, Church of God in Christ. All of that wouldn't mean a thing if you don't have love. And if you don't have love, you don't have a real relationship with the Lord. Amen. Amen. So to abide in the in, in him is to abide in love. It is to be submissive. That means, praise God, that there are situations that are going to present itself that you're going to have to suffer long. I'm talking about with your brothers and sisters. There. There are situations where it's going to take gentleness. You can't be hard all the time. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. No. Praise God that the Lord is saying, you must abide in me. You must be submissive to me. You must be obedient to the will of God as it is revealed in his word and by the leading of the Holy Spirit. Now, what happens to those who don't abide? What happens to those who don't abide? Put verse 6 up there again. John 14, verse 6. Praise the Lord. Are y'all going to stay with me with my Sunday school lesson? Ella Gary will be back next Sunday. Notice, let's read John 14, verse 6. What? What? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now flip over to 15 and 6. Look at 15 and 6. What does it say? 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If a what? I thought Jesus was talking about grapes. I thought he was talking about grapes and a grapevine. He's homing on to the disciples. I'm not talking about grapes. I'm not talking about grapevine. I'm using that because I'm really talking about you. I'm talking about if a man, if a man abide in me, what? If he, if, 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 if he doesn't abide in me, he is cast forth as a branch, is withered, You can't operate separate and apart from the Lord. And that's why it's really hard to fake a relationship if you don't really love him. See, if, if you don't really have a relationship with the Lord, a relationship of love, coming to church is labor. It's something hard to do. But I heard that in the Bible it said, I was glad. How many of y'all was glad? I was glad when they said unto me what? Let's go into the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And see, whether you know it or not, that's a barometer of your relationship. Amen. If you don't love him enough to be here, you don't love him enough. Amen. And then Elder Gary was saying, Pastor Gary was saying, praise God, if you're here, you got to give him some praise. Amen. If you, if you love him, you got to tell him not every now and then, but all the time. Hallelujah. How many of y'all told the Lord you love him? Come on, let me hear you tell him now. Lord, I love you, Lord. Pray correct now. And see, when you really love the Lord, you want to be wherever he is. Thank you. You can't wait. Praise the Lord. You can't wait to get to the house of the Lord. You want to be there among the saints where praises go up. And your, your prayer is that your praise and the praise of the saints will go up to the Lord as a sweet smelling savor. Now let's get back to this man because I said that the Lord emphasized you noticed the transition didn't you? He went from grapes to if a man he wants to emphasize again I wasn't talking about grapes I was simply using that to bring a point home to you and the point is you cannot produce fruit if you don't abide and you cannot abide if you don't love the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You got to come here. You know, they got these electric cars now. And they run so long, but every now and then you got to pull in. I, I, I don't like them. And if I had the money, I wouldn't buy one right now because you can't go but so far on them. And I'm afraid there's enough, there's not enough stations to get me where I want to go. And I'd hate to get out there on the highway and start going somewhere and run out. Hallelujah. Amen. See, you're on a journey. Tell somebody, you're on a journey. 
And you cannot make this journey by yourself. You need the Lord. Praise God. You don't come to church to look good. You come to church because you need the Lord. Hallelujah. I need him. I need God to give me strength. I need God to encourage me. I need to hear that I can make it by the power of God. I need to feel. I'm human. I still, I need to feel. I know it's about faith, but I want to feel him every now and then. I want to feel his presence. Now, it's also essential for the spiritual well-being that you abide in the vine, that you continue in his love. Because what happens? When you're not abiding, you will begin to wither. You begin to dry up. Thank you right now. Hallelujah. Have you ever been to places where the, where the, where, where the, where, where the branch done wither? Where the branch is dried up? You hear songs like, Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. A long way from home. I don't want to go to that church. <laughs> Amen. And see, see the Lord looking at some of y'all. Y'all will go to Conway High School games and they can't whoop nobody. Sorry, Kendall. Sorry. I'm sorry. And, and y'all will go to the game and y'all be hollering, give me one, give me two, give me three, buckaroo. Huh, huh, huh. Y'all just hollering and y'all making all kind of cheers for Conway High School and then you get in here. But the Bible said, let the redeem of the Lord If the Lord has redeemed you out of the hand of the enemy, I'm sorry if I offend you, but I got to say so. Look at somebody and tell them, I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. Thank you right now. Hallelujah. Now, let's see where we can go from here. Not only do you wither and you dry up, but you're broken off. Praise God. It, you, you, you'll see it. See, if you don't abide in this love, it'll show up by you start getting lights coming to church because you really were just coming for a show. You didn't really come because you loved him, because you weren't abiding in him. Hallelujah. And that's manifested, see? Praise the Lord. That's manifested. You didn't love him. So after a while, see, you're going to get broken off. Because, see, ain't nothing dead going to be in him. Uh-uh. Ain't nothing dead. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Elder Gary gets up and he, he's trying to get all them dead folks out here. All the live folks, they've been praising the Lord and all that. But he's trying to bring all y'all dead folks in too. Come on and praise him. Uh. But see, it, it ought to be more than music that make you come alive. You, you ought to be able to come in here and praise him if you don't have an organ, a guitar, a drum. Yeah. 
And you don't even worry about how things sound. Praise God. Huh? Long as they're making a joyful noise, you come in here and praise him. Amen. So notice this now, because this, I'm going to get into a little contentious part. Notice this that it says, if you don't abide in him, if you don't submit to him, to the leading of his spirit, if ain't no sap flowing in you, you're going to start drying up and die. And, 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 and it's, not, it's not an immediate process, it's a gradual one. He's telling me, they are, everybody used the analogy about the frog in hot water. If you heat the water up, scald the water, and drop the frog in it, he'll drop out, he'll jump out. But if you put the frog in the water and gradually, and see, that's what's happening. The devil, he, he ain't going to put you in the scalding water right away. Gradually. You know, you know what? How you get in, in, in water gradually, Pastor? I, I can't be here today because I got I got to go see my mama. A pastor, my husband and I, we going for our vacation. Uh, this is our seventeenth vacation this year. <laughs> pa pastor, I want to be there, but but my husband bought me a cruise. See, that, that water is heating up. It's burning you, but you have become desensitized. Thank you right now. Hallelujah. See, see you, can, you can get so dead that you'll be in the church and the spirit of God be moving and you'll be sitting there like you're in a tomb. Hallelujah. And I see some of y'all, when some people get to praising the Lord, I see some of y'all going. <laughs> but look at somebody and say, if you ain't going to let me praise him by sitting next to you, you move. Now watch this. If a man doesn't abide, he didn't say if the grapes don't abide. Now Jesus want to get to the nitty gritty. Thank you, Elder Fry. I appreciate it. <clears throat> if a man doesn't abide, he's broken off, he withers, he dries up, and watch this. They gather him, put him in the fire. Now, what do you think that's talking about? Oh, oh, I hear you. I hear some somebody. Somebody said, mm -mm, "That can't. That can't be possible. That can't be possible. Why? Because I've been reading, praise God, over in John." Amen. I've been reading over in John. Let me try to find out where it is. Amen. He says, if a man does not abide in me, he dries up, he's broken off, he withers, and he's cast forth, and then they're gathered up and burned. But somebody said, what about John 10 and 28? Now, I'm going to do something this morning. Brother, Brother Ishmael, can you get me a microphone right quick? Just get, just get one in your hand. Praise the Lord. Amen. Just get one in your hand. All right. You got it? All right. Now, I'm going to do something that a certain person has been trying to do for a long time. Help me preach. Come on, Sister Lee. Yeah. 
Hey, if, if, if she wasn't in church, she would have said, don't think I can't do it. <laughs> Brother, put John 10 and 28 up there. My wife taught for years in the school system, and she taught English. We got, we got Sister Ida's here, educators. We got Sister Florence. We got all kind of Dr. Graders here. Huh? We got the principal over here. So now, I want you to read, I want you all to read this verse. What does it say? In, in fact, go back to 27. Let's start there. Go back to 27. What does it say? All right. Sister Lee, what is the subject of those verses? Hallelujah. And I hadn't even, I hadn't even, I hadn't even talked to her. She. Praise God. It's talking about she. He says, my sheep do what? And I know my sheep and my sheep they know me, and my sheep, they shall what? They shall hear my, and they shall what? I'm, I'm waiting for somebody to tell me where in that verse is talking about eternal security. Once saved, always saved. It ain't even talking about us. Jesus said, my sheep. That's the subject. And you can't take, listen, oh, let me, let me help you. Go, go to Isaiah 28. Uh, go to Isaiah chapter 28. I'm, 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 I'm going to be through in a minute. This is, this is my Sunday school lesson. Let me teach it. Go to Isaiah 28. Look at verse 9. Isaiah 28, verse 9. What does it say? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, listen. Go ahead. 20. Next verse. What? For a precept must be... Uh-huh. Come on. All right. See, you can't make doctrine off of one scripture. Now, I know I, I, I got off, but I'm... I'm, I'm trying to help you all. See, because there's a popular teaching now, once saved, always saved, and it's not scripture. Do you think that God is going to allow Jesus to go through what he went through for us, for me, and for you? Simply so that you can confess him and then go back to sinning? You believe that for real? The devil, done, he really got your mind. He's really got your mind. You can't believe that. You can't believe that if God is love, that he's going to subject a sinless perfect son 
to all of that. Did you, did you hear Elder Gary's sermon? Nailed him to the cross. People normally would have been left on the cross and decomposed right on the cross. Birds come by eating their flesh. You think God would allow his son, he just said from heaven, this is my beloved son in whom I am. But now he's going to let him die for me. And all I got to do is confess that. But then I go right back to my old lifestyle. And think about heaven. What is heaven going to be like? If you allow people that are doing all this stuff on earth to get a free pass and go to heaven simply because they confess what they call a faith, then the same thing that happened on earth is going to happen in heaven. Hallelujah. This was a sinless, perfect society on earth till Adam messed it up. Hallelujah. Are y'all following me? See, we don't understand, we don't understand the righteousness of God. We don't understand the righteousness of God. See, when you do what God says, God said, I'm going to make it possible for you to be a part of me. Praise the Lord. And the only way I can make it possible and be just, the only way I can be the justifier and be just is I got to find somebody who is without sin to die for the sin of the world. It is the one man, Adam, disobedience caused all to may be made sinners, then one righteous man, Jesus Christ, can reverse it. And, and I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just. But I got to find somebody. And Jesus said, I know you're tired of bulls and bullocks because they can't never take away sin. Hallelujah. Religion can't take away no sin. You got to have relationship. Praise God. And Jesus said what? Prepare me a body and I'll go down and die for the sins of the world. Hallelujah. 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 Now, praise God. Let's look again at fruit bearing. Ella Jones Sr. used to have the lawn business, but he gave the business, turned it over to his son, Ella Lee Jones Jr. But Ella Lee Jones Sr. is the one that came to my house and I asked him to do my yards and thing. There's a bunch of trees. I, I, my house was like in the woods almost. So he had to come and cut trees down and all of those stones you see. Ella Jones put those up. Praise God. And they gave me a plaque. Best yard. He had done a man, fantastic job. But I like... Uh, what are these flower trees called? What? Crepe myrtles. I love crepe myrtles. And Ella Jones Sr. went and bought me some crepe myrtles, and you see them out on the front part of my lawn. And so they, they bloom, and I was looking at them. Oh, that's beautiful and all of that. So I, Ella Jones came back to do my yards to maintain them. And when I got a chance to walk outside and look and see what, inspect what he had done, I saw my crepe myrtle bushes. He had cut them all back. Instead of all these beautiful flowers, it was just a bunch of sticks. 
I said, Ella June, what in the world have you done? He said, Pastor, you got to understand. I know they were blooming and they produced flowers, but that wasn't as much as they are capable of doing. But in order to reach that next milestone, that next level, I had to cut them back. Look at God. Look at, look at somebody and tell them, God trying to tell you something. Some of the things you're going through, it's not because you've done something wrong. You're bearing fruit. But God said, I got to get rid of this fruit in order so you can produce more fruit. And when I get you there, I'm not through yet. I got to work on you some more and get rid of that fruit so you can do. Look at somebody and say, he's working on me. But that's all right. He's going to get the glory. He's going to get the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you right now. And see, if you don't, if you don't understand that, when the Lord begins to work on you and things begin to go wrong, and, and you, you're saying, Lord, I thought finally that, that I was doing this and doing that to please you, and you were satisfied. And now you tearing all that down. And God said, yeah, I'm tearing it down. But wait till you see the next crop. How many y'all, how many y'all waiting for the next crop? I'm bearing fruit, but I'm waiting for more fruit. And some of y'all already at the more fruit level. You said, I'm bearing more fruit, but I'm looking for much fruit. But see, every time you go up in fruit bearing, you go up in what you have to deal with. But even though you got to deal with these things, you also growing up and God is manifesting himself in the sap. You can't make it, but the sap that's flowing in the vine. Thank you right now. It's not by power. It's not by might. But it's by my spirit, saith the Lord. Look at somebody that said, the devil thought he had me. But God sent his spirit. Thank you right now. And lifted me up to higher ground. Come on and give him a praise. Come on, give him a praise. Hallelujah. So fruit bearing is accomplished through cleansing. But cleansing is not punishment. Thank you right now. See, see when we see the, the fruit being cut off, See, when you're clean, if you're going to another level, you're getting rid of fruit. See, because you were doing fruit. You want to go to more fruit, but in order to go to more fruit, God got to do something with fruit. Fruit's gone. Ella Jones came in and cut all my bushes, and if you'd come by my house right after that, you'd just seen a bunch of sticks coming up out the ground. But the next season, the next season, huh? Tell him, tell somebody, said the devil trying to skin you, I know. Tell him, said the devil trying to skin you. But, but don't you give up, don't you quit. Tell him, wait, just wait the next season. Huh? You may be going through a little sickness and you might be going through a little difficulty in your job or 
difficulty in your family, but don't get, don't you quit. Just abide. Just hang in there. Thank you right now. You, 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 you keep telling them some way, God, somehow, I don't know how, I can't see it, I'm gonna be honest, but I just believe my confidence in you that some way, when it's all over, I'm gonna come out as pure gold. Thank you right now. Somebody ought to praise them for what you've been through. Somebody ought to praise him for what you've been through. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you know why the devil fights fruit bearing so much? It glorifies God. Praise God. It glorifies God. And guess what it does for you? The Bible said, if you bear fruit, it assures you of answered prayer. That means when you get down and talk to God, God listens. The quartet boys say, hush, hush. Somebody calling my name. I don't know about all that, but I know he, he hears you. Because he said, if my word abide in you, <clears throat> and you abide in my word, you can ask what you will, and it shall be done. Not only that, but notice, it produces soul winning. Thank you. See, that, 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 that vine has that seed in it. And that seed produces more grapes. The seed. Now see, when you got saved, God put that seed in you. That's how you got saved. You believe the word of God. And now that that seed is in you, it's being manifest on the branches. Thank you right now. And, and, and what's on the branches is being fed by the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost is that attraction. It's that anointing. Praise God that reaches out and touches somebody. And see, that's why the devil got y'all afraid to talk to other people. See, when you were in the world, you, you, you sit around and talk for hours about nothing. Come on. You talk on your job, on the break. Talk to people on the break about nothing. Praise God. But now that you got something to talk about, the devil wants you to shut your mouth. He wants you to dry up and shut up. Thank you right now. But I heard somebody said, I said I wasn't going to tell nobody. <laughs> but I couldn't keep it to myself. How many know God has been good to you? Look at somebody and say, he's been good to me. And I can't keep it to myself. Tell him I got to praise him. I got to give him glory. I got to give him honor. Somebody praise him right now. Praise him right now. Finally, he says you bear fruit that your joy might be what? Full. What's full joy? Full joy ain't just you down here jumping and hollering. But it's the joy of the Lord. See, when you got full joy up in heaven, they're rejoicing. And you down here on earth are rejoicing. See, you got double for all your trouble. Amen. And that's what the Lord wants. Praise God. 
if we begin to abide and let the sap flow in us and begin to produce fruit, this place will be packed out because it will attract people to the Lord. They will sense the love. Nobody want to go to no church where they fussing and arguing all the time, backstabbing and gossiping and all of that. See, some of y'all need to check yourself. Some of y'all need to check yourself because your fruit not matching your testimony. Hallelujah. Thank you. And some of y'all spaced out. Y'all spaced out. That's all right. Pastor Gary is your pastor now. He'll straighten it, straighten it out. Everything I say doesn't, does, that's not, not right. He'll, he'll straighten it out. He's your pastor. Amen. But, but some of y'all spaced out because y'all talk stuff that ain't nowhere in the Bible and blame it on God. Amen. See, when you dry up and wither, praise God, your, your, your mind get bad. It get worse. It's already bad. Your mind get bad. And the devil start lying to you and you start believing lies because your mind is bad. You cannot produce. You ain't going to suffer long if you're not in the Lord. It takes the Lord to deal with some things. In fact, it takes the Lord to deal with everything. Hallelujah. And I don't care if a person does say they say. The Lord letting you know now, sometimes you got to suffer along with some people. You got to be gentle. You can't come off hard all the time. You got to be gentle. Praise the Lord. You got to love God. And if you do, heaven is rejoicing along with us right here on earth. Jesus said, I am. Now who are you? Who are you? Are you branches that's producing, uh, that's manifesting fruit that has been produced by the Holy Spirit flowing in and through you? Or are you just somebody taking up space and dying right in the church? Now we came up for prayer before I started. But I'm not going to stop until I give you an opportunity. See, see, we are dealing with demonic spirits. Demons are spirits without bodies. Remember that. See, that's, that's, that's why they need you. They want you. Because they can't operate. They can't cuss nobody out. They need your mouth to do that. They can't slap nobody. They need your hand to do that. They can't tell a lie. They, demons need bodies. And you got to be very careful that you don't allow demonic spirits to influence you. I ain't talking about no demon possession. They, they can't own you. But they can influence you to do things that's contrary to the will of God. You got to stay before God. You got to abide. Notice what he said. Continue. You got to continue in my that's what Jesus did. He continued in the love of God. Would you stand where you are? Praise the Lord. We're standing to give to give you a chance if you don't know the Lord. You can step out right now and in just a few minutes you can have the sap from the vine flowing in you and then begin to produce
produce fruit that glorifies God. Now, sometimes people, they don't want to come forth. They want to raise their hand and do all of that. But the Lord said, if you be ashamed of me before men, then I'll be ashamed of me, you before my father. You got to be willing to step out. Take that courageous step. I'm stepping out for you, God. And I want to publicly declare you because I'm not ashamed. I love you. I'm a sinner. But you died for my sins and I'm coming now to receive that that you want me to have. Is there one person today? Heaven is recording this right now. When we get to heaven at the great white throne judgment I won't be there, but if you're there, you're in trouble. But you can expect one thing, that God's going to be able to show you things. Your life going to just unfold right before you. And it's going to be such that you're not going to be able to say one thing to God. But drop your head when he says, depart from me. I never knew you. But as for us, we're going to be at the supper of the Lamb. We're going to be rejoicing and praising God. Is there one person? Hallelujah. But I want you to do something since everybody's all right. I want you to take just 15 seconds and take the hand of anointing and just lay it on some person near you and tell the Lord I don't know what they're going through but I want the sap to flow through me into them hallelujah come on let that love flow come on touch them now Lord heal them now deliver them now break yokes now Forgive sin now. In the name of Jesus. Do it, Lord. Do it for your glory. Do it for your honor. Do it for your praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Praise God. Now give him praise because you believe. Give him praise. Come on, praise him like you really believe it. Hallelujah, come on. Really give him a good praise, come on. Hallelujah. Why don't you tell three people, why don't you tell three people, tell them I know who I am. Come on. So satisfied. Play that. Say I am so satisfied. So sad with my say. Glory. Come on, that's it. He means more to me. He means more to me than anything. Than anything. Yes, Lord. Than anything in this world. Tell him he means more to me than anything, anything in this world. Stay right there. Come on. Come on, say he means more to me.
Lifting our hands all over the building. We are so grateful to God for his goodness and his mercy. How he blessed us and kept us. Hasn't God been good to us? I know that's right. We're grateful to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for pouring out your spirit upon us. I pray, God, that you will continue to move by your spirit and by your power. Help us to remember who we are in the name of Jesus. We're nothing without you, but with you we can do all things. And we love you and we praise you for it. In Jesus' name, thank God and amen. Listen, saints, before we leave, I want to, number one, we're going to do a couple things. I need to make a couple announcements, and we're going to take up our offering on the way out. I don't want you to forget that. But real quickly, um, several people have talked to me. I'm not sure if you're in the room, but I'm opening the doors of the church to anyone who wants to be a part of our fellowship, of our ministry. The doors are, if right where you are, if you just lift your hand and say, I want to be a part of this ministry. I believe that the Lord is leading me here, and I want you. Wonderful. Come quickly. Come quickly. There's anyone else in the room? Says, I want to be a part of this ministry. I want this to be my church home. I love it. Come on, Mason Taylor. Let's appreciate them. This is wonderful. Come on. I love it. Step over here. Sweet. He means more to me than anything. Anything in this world could ever hold for me. All right, wonderful. I'm going to ask you two questions. The first question is, are you saved? And the second question is whether or not you want to be a permanent or a watch care member. A permanent member is just that, it's permanent, all right? A watch care member says that I'm in town for a little while via college or a new job or something, and eventually I'm going to have to move, but while I'm here, I want to be a part of this church, okay? That's the only difference, okay? I'm going to start with you. Would you give me your full name? Alexia Harriet. Alexia Harriet. Wonderful. Would you like to be a, uh, first of all, are you saved? I am. She is. <laughs> Wonderful. Would you like to be a permanent or a watch care member? Permanent member. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We're so glad to have you. Well, listen, based on your confession of faith, I get the right and privilege as pastor of Mason Temple Church of God in Christ to extend to you the right hand of fellowship, which means you're afforded all the rights and privileges of each and every member of this church. I want you to come in, find great people. We love on each other. We love God. Now, there's some people in here like any other organization who's still trying to get it together, okay? And as God, that's right, as God is working on all of us, don't you let them discourage you, all right? But when you see him, you say, you was one of them people pastor told me about, okay? <laughs> but trust me, we got a lot more people in here who really love God and love God's people, amen? This is our church secretary, Sister Regina McCray. She's going to get some information from you as soon as we're finished with this, okay? Wonderful. Give me your full name. Annie Spivey. Annie Spivey. Wonderful. First question. Are you saved? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Second question is, would you like to be a permanent or a watch care member? Permanent member. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Well, listen, based on your confession of faith, it's my privilege to extend to you the right hand of fellowship and afford to you all the rights and privileges of each and every member of this church. You heard me say the same thing. Get on in here, find great people, let them love on you, all right? And keep on keeping on. And we're going to, our job is to try to make sure that we facilitate an environment that gives you the best chance to make it into heaven. Amen? So trust me, we got your back. We love each other. We love you. And we're so excited to have you as a part of this ministry. Amen? Can I get some godly women to come up here and greet our new members, please?
it ever hold for me? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Listen, my wife had to bring it to our attention that this is the granddaughter of our own sister Deborah Rogers. She grew up in this church. You grown. I done got old. <laughs> wow. Wow, we're so grateful to God. Second thing is, remain standing. I'm going to take five minutes with this. I, everybody say, I got away. I got away. There's an I got away tour. We're putting the graphics on the screen right now. I got away tour coming to our church June 1st. It's Pastor Mike Jr., Anthony Brown, Diedrich Haddon, Bree Bobino. They're all coming here. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The tickets have been out for about a week and a half. Here's the problem. I'm trying to tell y'all right now. Here's the issue. McDonald's became a sponsor and opened up the tickets to be free. On the way back home, I asked Sister Denise Brockton to get on and go ahead and register her tickets. The free tickets as of a week say sold out. Here's what I need you to do. Here's what I need you to do. There are still VIP tickets available that you can purchase, but also you can go on and sign up for the waiting list. Here's why I need each and every one of you to do the waiting list. It's because I know for a fact that if we have enough people on the waiting list, uh, mute my mic real quick. They can still see me, but mute my mic on. Right, mute me on. y'all to go and get it because they're coming from all over South Carolina, Conway and Myrtle Beach. They've advertised on Instagram, so go on. If you're a grandparent, don't know how to get on Instagram or online, ask somebody to help you. Amen? Say it again. If you go to get the tickets and you press, I, I, it'll say sold out, but on that link, it has a waiting list that you can click. So as soon as you try to purchase the ticket, it'll, it'll send you to a waiting list, okay? All right. However, you don't have to wait for the waiting list. If you don't want to wait for the waiting list, you can go ahead and buy the VIP tickets because there are awesome VIP tickets. I don't know what the price is for the VIP. So there's $75 for the VIP. They're up there, but it also includes some one-on-one -on -one backstage stuff uh, with the artist. Okay? Amen? So go sign up for that waiting list. Second thing is uh, I need y'all to show some love. I own Reggie Dyson. Hold on. I own Reggie Dyson, who on the love, just hosts our concert. He does everything. There's nobody who hosts a concert like Reggie Dyson. And you all have heard him on the radio. He's amazing. And he's not just dope to us, not amazing to us. But I own Reggie Dyson is up for a stellar award. I want you to put that graphic up. Listen, but he needs our help, OK? So it's on our Facebook page, it's on our Instagram, Instagram page, and we'll make sure it's on all of our platforms. We need everybody to go and to www.thestellarawards.com and vote for Myrtle Beach, WMIR 95.5 or 103.7. I need you to go and vote, amen? Let's not leave it up. Go tell all your friends to go vote, all right? And let's watch our own Reggie Dyson walk across the stage with a stellar award. This time next year, I need to be able to introduce him as stellar award winner, Reggie Dyson. <laughs> Amen. Um, the women's department needs you all. Listen, all the women, we're going to the women's convention this year. And all of the women who are, in, are interested, I need you to go and sign up. Please, please, please go. They need to know who all wants to go. It's going to be incredible. Uh, and it's a Church of God in Christ convention. It's going to, it, it does have a cost to it. But trust me, take your vacation. It's going to be in Orlando, Florida. You've never seen anything like this. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And if you'll go on our site, I think on the events page, you can sign up. So the women's department needs to know who all will be attending the women's convention. So please complete the link that has been sent out via text message. Amen? All right. Uh, did I forget anything? 
I forgot one thing for it. Come on, Sister Regina, real quickly. I promise we're not going to be long at all. Amen. I stand before you to wish Mother Hickman a happy belated birthday. Yeah. She was not here last Sunday when we had our presentation, so we want her to come up and receive her presentation at this time from the April Birthday Club. Happy birthday, Mother Hickman, and we wish you many more. Come on, Mason Temple, that's our church mother. Happy birthday. <laughs> Wonderful. And on your way out, let's put the ways to give. We never have to beg in this church for offering because, number one, not only are you giving seed, but you can see the fruit of what you're giving. Look around at all the things that God is doing and all the ways that God has made. We are good stewards over what God gives us so you can trust that the seed that you give. But remember, saints, remember, even though we're putting at the end of the church as in the service, it is no less important. We honor God with our tithe, all right? We honor God with our tithes, so we make sure that we give our tithe, we bring our tithe to God, and we give an offering out of our increase. Amen? And I want you to do that. Please don't put it in your pocket because we're not making a big deal. We got to be the church that gives because it's who we are and not have to have people ask for it. So this church never spends longer than about five minutes asking or talking about an offering because by now you should know better. And soon we'll be going into some financial, uh, uh, financial workshops and seminars to really go into the theology of what tithing and giving offering really is for the people of God. Amen. How many of you can testify tithing works? Lift your hands and let them see it. It works. Follow us out to our car. We ain't hungry. Look at us. Can't even see no ribs. Can't even see no ribs. Matter of fact, we get ready to go. We can't ready to leave here and go pad these ribs a little more. <laughs> Wonderful. Those of you that are giving by giving cash or giving uh, by your envelopes, the box Deacon uh, Deacon Green is at the door. The box is at the door that you can put them in on your way out. Amen. All right. Let's lift our hand to God. Superintendent, do you have anything else? Wasn't that an amazing word? And Superintendent, I'm not sure if you paid attention to it, but. I think it's kind of unfair that when you gave First Lady the mic, literally the only thing she said was she. But I'm not sure if you could hear, but over there where I was, like six people kept saying, what a word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think that's fair. We studied seven and 10 days to get what a word. She says she, and everybody over here talking about, what a word, First Lady, what a word. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll get over it. Lifting our hands to God. <laughs> now may the grace of God and sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest rule and abide with all his people. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forever. And all God's people said amen. amen. And the women's choir is going to sing us out.